Oh. He was. I paid thirty nine ninety nine for this. I thought it only right to kick up. I am hot. Oh my gosh. The stuff we go through to do these videos. Whew. Oh, I'm starting to feel tired already. <sighs> Everybody. my name is Andrea if you're new here and if you are feel free to hit that <laughs> what's up every <clears throat> what's up everybody my name is Andrea if you're new here and if you are feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and to my OG subscribers thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video okay guys so first off I want to apologize about my voice it is gonna be very shaky and very in and out I have not been feeling well my tongue is orange from the Gatorade I've been drinking to try to get some electrolytes in but I was able to get around up and about today so up and about I was able to get around and about I was able to get around the house and do some things today and I thought while you have the energy and while you're feeling well, go ahead and film these videos because you've been gone for two weeks and it's time. If you hear screaming in the background, no one's getting murdered. The kids are out for summer. They're in that pool. I don't control people's kids and the noise they make. I am an advocate for tiring the kids out, let them have fun during the day. So when they come back in the house around seven, eight o'clock, they out, they sleep. So we don't let them have their fun. I thought it only right to kick up. I am hot. Oh my gosh. The stuff we go through to do these videos. I had to turn the air off so you guys wouldn't hear it. So I got this little portable fan which does its job but you can hear this if I have it on the whole time. Plus it... Whew. So, I thought it only right to bring you guys a haul of something I have been so obsessed with, so in love with, actually for quite some time. I've been talking about the style for a while. Talking about the style, talk, talk, talking about the style for a while. Bars. And it's, I don't even know what to call it because I don't even think it's like a style or a trend. It's just dope stuff all mixed together. So it's like rustic, Wabi, modern, luxury, all the things that are just dope to me, stuff that I just love looking at. I have been following the works of Axel Vervoort for a while and I just love his style. Colin King does a really good job of mixing rustic, old, and new together as well. And that's the vibe I'm going for in my Drea layer. If you're new here, my Drea layer is my second bedroom that I am in the process of redoing to make that more of a formal filming room. But I actually found some more pieces and I'm so excited about them. So yes, to sum it all up, everything in this haul is gonna be geared towards Wabi Modern. That's what we're just gonna categorize everything as. So first up, we have this lamp I found at Ross. Now honestly speaking, I got this because I was in love with the shade. It's like this linen shade. You guys know how I feel about linen if you've been here for a while. And it has this like iron base. Um, actually, this might be this sounds like iron, this sounds like plastic. Anywho, I just love the dimension of it. Excuse me. You nasty little worm. Um, and it charges your phone or your tablet or whatever it has a USB um, cord to it. It has a little USB port back here and it has this little switch right here to turn it on and off. A really nice warm glow um, comes out of the shade. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this. Um, a lot of times with stuff at Ross, TJ Maxx Home Goods, you guys know if you shop there, you have to grab something. Even if you're not sure about it, just grab it. You can always return it because nine times out of 10, if you go back, it's gonna be gone. So I brought it home, I was like, okay, I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna see how it fits into my aesthetic. Um, and I got confirmation on Instagram I feel like Instagram and Pinterest, Instagram 
and Pinterest give me my confirmation. A lot of times I just spit. Let's try this again. <laughs> I can't do it. Oof. Pinterest and Instagram usually give me a lot of confirmation on things I purchase. Just give me ideas on how they look in certain spaces, especially if I'm going for the same aesthetic. So there's this guy, founder of um, Fear of God Essentials. I love his clothing. I own quite a few pieces and I just love the whole aesthetic of his brand. He posted some pictures. He had a photo shoot apparently and the background of these pictures were breathtaking. Like, I was like, where is this place? I need to know. Luckily, he tagged the place. It was Greenwich Hotel, which, ironically, at Silver Vortz actually designed the penthouse that he was shooting in. So I was like, no wonder I like it so much. And I saw that the side of the bed had these, uh, what is this geometrical shape? Rectangular, but it's 3D. What is a 3D rectangle called? I gotta look this up because it's gonna bother me. Rectangular prism? Whatever, they had <laughs> these lamps that look kind of like this. And the shade, I'm, I don't know if it was linen or if it was like the, um, you know, the Japanese paper lamps that are everywhere on our Instagrams and Pinterest, all over social media. I'm not sure if the shade was the same, but the shape was the same. And I was like, okay, good, I'm gonna keep it. So every space that I saw something similar to this in had the aesthetic that I was trying to grasp. For example, Kim Kardashian's bedroom, she had some lamps similar to this on the side of her bed. I'm like, I was going to. I had no idea. You we're gonna go to law school. Like that's, yeah, that's crazy that I just- So every space that I saw something similar to this in, they all have the aesthetic that I'm trying to grasp. Like I'm not trying to do like a copy and paste room, but there are little elements of those spaces that I want to kind of put into my space if that makes sense. So yeah, I love this. Like I said, it's very practical, very stylish, very functional, it charges your things. The light isn't super harsh and I just love it so much. Like, I'm so glad I found it. And of course, the budget friendly part, only $19.99. Throw it in the bag. So next up is gonna be this little wood piece on a stand. I thought this was adorable when I saw it. Um, like I said, I'm trying to bring in those elements of the outside, I'm trying to bring the outdoors in and I thought this was perfect. It's not too big, it's very easily you know, moved around if I wanna change up the styling. I know it's like, Andrea, it's just a piece of wood on a stand, and which is, uh, that's what it is. But I just love the tones in it. Like, I just feel like this is like, if somebody had wooden beams and chopped off a piece and put it on a stand, this this is it. This is something I don't feel like I can DIY necessarily, um, at least not to this. Y'all, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm so out of it. I'm just trying to get through this video. But I just love the way it looks. I love the tones in this. It's so rich in those like rust and browns. It's really capturing all the tones I'm trying to grasp without looking farmhouse. So like I said, I've been loving rustic decor mixed with modern and classic pieces. So all my like chairs are gonna be more modern and um, my coffee table as well, but I actually was looking for more rustic pieces to put into my bookcases to kind of capture that vibe. You see what I'm saying? It'll all come together, I promise. Just stay tuned. I'm going to do like a whole like style with me when I get ready in that room. Um, but yeah, I just thought he was so cute. He was only $14.99 at Home Goods, and I just had to have him. And yeah, that's him. I'm really excited about this next piece because it's something you see on a normal basis, but it's different at the same time. It's so common, like we see this all the time, but it's actually really rare because I hardly ever see it in this state. <coughs> Excuse me. In this state. 
So it is this selenite log, but just bear with me because it's not just any selenite log, okay? Of course, we know the crystal selenite is supposed to bring clarity and all that good stuff, but this one has so many imperfections in it that it was so perfect for me. I love the little brown little pieces of, I don't know if it's mud, I don't know if it was from a rock that it was embedded in, but I just love it. I just love that. It's a little bit of glamour, but a lot of earth as well. You get some imperfections and color variation here on the top as well. And I feel like this is gonna look so good on my bookcase. Like next to that little wood, hold on. Just hold on a second. So like if you put these two next to each other, look how good that looks. Like this is so different. Like you get, like I said, you get that shiny, you get that crystal like finish, but then the little brown spots and the spots on the top actually complement this little wood stand right here. So I just think this is gonna be so good. I'm so glad I found it. He was only at $19.99 at Home Goods and I don't know y'all, I'm just so excited about this piece. I know it's nothing major, but stuff like this really excites me because I feel like not everybody's gonna have it in their home. If you get real raw stone crystals, none of them are made the same if they're actually natural. So yeah, I just love this and it's gonna look so, so good. So, so excited about it. I'm so out of breath because I don't feel good. So like a lot of us know, but in case you don't, RH has come out with their contemporary collection, which is very exciting. I was so excited to look through the collection and get inspiration. Um, they have a lot of browns. You know, RH usually does a lot of blacks and whites and grays. Well, at least the modern side. I feel like they have done um, some rustic, but just, this new collection is just it's very refined, it's a breath of fresh air, just something cool, something new, something fresh. And honestly, I got this before I even knew about Arch's new collection. So I got this from H&M Home. And it took me like three weeks to get it. Uh, that's why I like forgot about it because it like got lost in the mail or something, DHL was, um, delivering it and it took a while to get here. But in the RH Contemporary um, Collection, they have this ceramic artist. I don't want to butcher her name or the name of the vase. So I'll put it, I'll put it, <laughs> I will put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm saying. But it has like a similar shape to this, but that piece is more matte. It's more um, texture in that piece. And of course it's, a, it's bigger than this one. They have like two sizes. But I just thought this was so cute when I found it. Um, it's glazed. And honestly, I was thinking about painting this to make it more matte like the one at RH. But I've been loving how glazed ceramics look up against rustic pieces. I'll put up a picture so you guys can see what I'm saying. But I just thought this was so cool and so unique. Um, like I said, it's a vase so you can stick florals or branches in this I may just leave it by itself and put it on um, a bookcase or just maybe even stick like a little twig or something in it and put it on my coffee table in the dry layer whenever my coffee table arrives but yeah I just thought this was so cute like and he was only $13 so you guys know before you start cussing me out and being like I don't see this anywhere on the site I had to stalk this piece and ooh, it echoes hello 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 all right, we need to hurry up because I'm getting delirious. So I had to stop this piece. You guys know about the notify me button. I tell you about it all the time. Hit it. I'll put the link to this piece in the description box. Hit the notify me button and you guys know, know what to do from there. Just keep an eye on your emails. So yeah, like I said, on $13. Such a steal. Such a deal. And so good. Okay, next up. So like I said, I am trying to grasp like earthy wood tones. Just all things that are gonna make my space very warm. I don't have cool beams or anything in my apartment, so I need to bring in wood accent pieces to bring that element into space, right? So I found this at Home Goods. Before you judge, just just stick with me for a minute. It all makes sense. I found this and I was like, this is chunky, this is wood, <laughs> this is very, imperfect which is what Wabi embraces so I feel like I need it it's looking very orange on camera but it's not that orange I'll try to do like a close-up to give you the true color of this but um he was so I paid $39.99 for this I'm gonna 
almost had a gift card or something because usually I wouldn't pay that much for this. But I'm sure I had a gift card. I had to have that gift card because no way. But um, I feel like this is going to look very good in a bookcase. I actually saw a bookcase that was made of like petrified wood pieces that were glazed over and they were like the, the structural pieces of the bookcase and I thought it was so cool. Uh, but yeah, I only found one of him. I don't think I need more than one. Uh, like I said, just going to bring in those earthy tones that I need in my space. And you guys know I have these pillows that I bought um, a couple weeks ago to go in there. Actually, let me get it for you. So I got these pillows a couple weeks ago. I got two of them to go in that space. And I feel like this is gonna complement it very well on the bookcases um, whenever I get them in there. I still haven't decided if I wanna do black or white. I'm leaning towards white, but I just wanna be sure before I make that purchase. So yeah, love him. Like I said, it was $39.99 at Home Goods. I'll put the style number down. I'll put the style number down in the notes for you guys if you're looking for it in your nearest Home Goods. Okay guys, that is it for me to say that. Okay guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. I hope you're able to get your hands on some of these pieces if they interest you. I hope it gave me <laughs> I hope this video gave you some really good inspiration and thanks for putting up with me and my boys and my delirium because yeah, it's been rough. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health and I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, Thank <laughs> you.